do the Whoa! Whoa! Okay. was a disaster medical relief center that patients came to after an earthquake in our area. We had undergraduate nursing students here, we had CRNA students and nurse practitioner students, and they all had a different role that would mimic the role they would have in real life if they were in a disaster situation. Being a nursing student, I can see what the nurses were doing and how, if I was a nurse in the situation, how I would help myself and other patients around me. We wanted it to grow, to be interdisciplinary and involve students throughout the college. Um, we were not anticipating it would grow this quickly though, so we're actually pretty pleased. I knew it was going to be on a big scale being in the gym and I just didn't know the sheer amount of people that were going to be here, so it was, it was nice to see that they could plan something like this on a much grander scale than what we've seen before. We're waiting right here and she's going to come over and we're going to have those pills for you, okay? help you feel better. This was a great practice for the undergraduates to get that hands-on practice and simulation and things they might not ever get to do in a hospital situation and great experience for the CRNAs and the nurse practitioners to practice leadership skills. We're generally confined to the walls of a hospital or a clinic or a school or somewhere. To get kind of field experience and real-world experience is very unique. Um, I don't know of another program that does this. There may be, but I think certainly in Birmingham we're the only people that do this. We have to be fast and intentional with what we do, and we have to go to who needs us first. And that's very different than what we do in an everyday setting. So I learned a lot from other professionals in that regard. It helps with the stress part. So um, being in a crisis situation like this, you're not going to know what to do at a certain time depending on what comes at you. So you're just going to have to act and go with it, work with what you have and who you're with, and, and deal with that um, making decisions on the fly and, and going with what you have. Uh, stress part of it is, is key. It is critical to understand the adrenaline that is produced in you as the provider when something like this occurs. We spend a fair amount of time telling the students on both ends, both the victims and the responders, that they need to act the part. I think it's very helpful, and I think a lot of schools should do it, because just doing it, reading it on text, and doing online simulations isn't the same as real life. So getting an actual experience and having it in front of you is way different than doing it in a computer or reading a book.